Okay, this video is for uh, Granddad and Slider, and uh, I've been watching Granddad's experiments with this uh, stainless steel and Epsom salt uh, battery thing, and uh, this is the stainless steel. It's magnetic, but uh, Slider made the comment about trying it with a crystal cell, and, and I looked back, and I don't remember ever building a rechargeable battery this was eight years ago or so um, using a solid crystal so I thought I would try it and um, got it to work and this is just a strand of this um, stainless steel scrubber very low surface area but I got it to form up and I did a concoction I did a layer of the uh, alum uh, powder melted and then put the electrodes in there and then melted the Epsom salts, which is uh, aluminum sulfate, and then filled that thing up. And then kept charging and discharging, charging and discharging, and finally it formed up. And uh, what's amazing is this is, um, this is a solid crystal. It's, it's, um, This isn't mush or anything. This formed back up into a crystal solid. And um, it formed into a rechargeable cell. And this isn't uh, a galvanic. This is um, like a two dissimilar metal. These are two same metals that I put in that thing and formed it up and got it to go into a, a rechargeable and got this, um, this thing to actually work. This is right at about six tenths of a volt where this guy stops working. But on this cell here, what you would want to do is you'd want to put it on a penny oscillator. And this is the one that's just got the liquid in it. It's the two uh, things with the liquid. And you'd want to take this cell here because of the low volume in it, low capacity, because there's not much surface area, and run it on, um, on a penny oscillator. You see, I'll show you how to do this. So what you do is you um, abandon the pulse motor and you, you put it on one of these guys. And this is, um, let's see if I can get this to go here. This one here works right on down to half a volt. And if you can get it to work down to half a volt, then you've got a, a better indicator of your rechargeable cell. And uh, Slider mentioned he's got some of these penny oscillators he's made up. They go back five years on some of these homemade batteries. And this um, crystal cell that John Bedini did a lot of, and we all worked on this years ago, uh, was a very interesting project where you take uh, and you make an electrolyte uh, by melting, melting this stuff. And both of these... Uh, compounds here have a high molecular water content and so it's the water in this in the substance that allows the uh, flow of the electrons uh, back and forth between the plus and minus the anode and cathode and um, let this happen now in the ones that were magnesium and copper or, or dissimilar metals gradually the anode just went away but it'd be interesting to see how long this will go using the same material and how many times you can actually charge and discharge this before this stops working uh, because like I say this is now in a in a solid form this is a crystal and I just used a screwdriver to mix it up with and I can put that under the faucet and that'll come right off so what I'm thinking is if there's high moisture content in the air to keep enough moisture in that crystal cell this might just go for a long time um, with a solar cell. Put a little solar cell on that thing and uh, set it near a window and build yourself up a penny oscillator. You don't need to use these kind of coils. You can use a normal jewel thief type. And the, the penny oscillator, what's different, it's got a tank circuit right here. And, and the slider's done these things too. You just put a capacitor here, 0.1 UF, across the resistor on your uh, jewel thief circuit. 
and then uh, I use a hundred um, microfarad electrolytic here uh, because of how I'm doing mine but you end up with this blinker and uh, this blinker um, I've had a lot of luck with it when this gets up to a certain voice voltage the uh, blink rate goes higher and higher until this becomes basically you can't see it blink and then as the voltage drops down it goes into more and more of a blink so I had a lot of luck with this penny oscillator but yeah granddad and cider you gotta try building up one of these solid crystal cells and uh, it's just uh, a layer of that melted you put in some of these electrodes here and then you uh, melt up some Epsom salts and fill up the cup and bada bing bada boom you've got a rechargeable crystal cell thanks for watching